Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Keontae Ashe and this is Blue Or Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of the twin and twin twins, ninja. So if you in any way at all identify as a twin flame, then this reading is for Joel. All right, look, 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 Damn divine masculine, always, all right, always him, okay? Like, can't even get through the opening, bruh. Can't even get through the opening. And y'all knows I've been shuffling forever. So it ain't that, all right? It's homie wanting to come through. 2.5 with the messages, okay? Keep coming through like that, all right? Like, sir, okay. He like, get to the point, ma'am. Enough with the shuffling. <laughs> masculine, all right. Ugh, this masculine is coming real aggressive because they're on the verge. We had a realization. All right. I don't know. Something happened during this pause. All right. During this pause while they've been yearning for you. Okay. They realize maybe they're surrounded by some toxic people. Maybe they done did some toxic things. This is maybe why you put them on pause. As soon as I said toxic people, toxic things. We got family here. All right. So they might be connected to some people they feel like they need to get away from for a little bit. And they're wondering if you would like to get away. All right. Once again, keeps coming up like this. This person wants to spend time with you, but you guys would much rather not at this time. You're trying to discard the situation, trying to discard the person, but they only have eyes for you. All right. So this masculine really wanted to say that they want to meet up. They want to talk. They want to have this conversation. You see, now he's letting my card shuffle. Ain't that some shit? These masculines are something else. They are something else. We have lockdown, all right? They can't get you out their mind. That's why, all right? They're coming through like this, so aggressive. All right, let us see what the messages are. We have today. Yeah, the today, all right? This person has been in denial, not facing the truth about how it is they feel about you, and now they're coming to some sort of reasoning, some sort of understanding, understanding. all right? That's like today's word, word of the day, understanding. So this person wants to pop up on you. They want to do something spontaneous, unexpected, plan a surprise visit once again ask you if you would like to spend time with them okay this is what i'm getting some of them might just try to find ways to hit you up and be like you're pack a bag okay <laughs> but be careful because once again there's this energy here with this entrapment now i feel like because you do pull on this person's heartstrings okay a lot of them have that passion for you like i said they've been yearning for you in the baddest baddest way okay that if they get their hands on you Okay, you understand what I'm saying? So be very careful. Be mindful of that. All right, because this energy just keeps coming out. But I also feel like you guys, um, when you're not speaking to this person, when you're not dealing with this person, their life is very dark. You see what I'm saying? Look at all of these dark cards here. Okay, everything is dark. Everything is uh, black. Okay, so it's like when you're not around, very much so colorless, very much so blah, meek, boring. Okay those things come to mind some of them have had some sort of separation or divorce take place here okay this might be something that they've not spoken to you about but maybe something they would like to talk to you about in this present moment okay um like i said they keep coming out with the messages very very strong like barely letting me get through the intro barely letting me shuffle the cards you know what i'm saying you make them happy you bring them color you bring them joy okay so underlying energy once again drastic extreme harsh cutoff notice it's black it's dark so when you're not around when you don't deal with this person this is how they feel all right so they would much rather have you in their life than not in their life however once again be careful because the way that they feel about you this energy is present okay it's present so it's like saying um to be honest with you, and this is really spiritual, this is a spiritual message. To be honest with you, a lot of you have already had children in the fifth dimension. Like you have babies in the fifth dimension, you and this person, because of how much you interact with each other in a sexual way in the fifth dimension. All right, so that's a message for someone. Let's see. We have waves, emotions coming and going, okay? So this is what they do. I feel like maybe they tried to fight their feelings off for you, okay? Remember the denial card? I feel like they tried to fight these feelings off, all right? But just as quick as they go, they come right back, just like waves, 
Okay, so for them, it's like, damn, okay, this is consistent. It's something I've tried to push off, but I feel like that doesn't really work. That doesn't really last. All right, so this is the emotion that we have coming about. All right, this person really wanting to say this to you, express this to you, but wondering how you feel about it, right? How would you feel about these things? So let us see. Roller coaster, that's how you feel. Okay, you feel like it's a lot. You feel like it's a, ba a battle, I just heard. Okay, some of you feel like it's a battle. Wow. Okay, um, interesting. All right, you might want to go check out that reading I posted earlier. Okay, um, it was definitely talking about feeling along those lines. Okay, like you have to chase this person down or hunt this person down. And if you felt like that because this person was in denial, which did come out in that reading, then yeah, it made you feel like, you know what? I'm good. I would rather not. Okay. Nobody wants to feel like they're chasing someone. We're grown, right? It's not a playground. So we have crushed. All right. Sad, broken, feeling alone. Very much so. Once again, when you're not around, okay. When you're not in contact with them. So then they have no choice, but to sit back and reflect and say, okay, why is feminine feeling like this why has feminine cut me off why is she distant from me why am i not getting the same things from her that i was getting before okay maybe because of the toxic things that i were that i was doing you get what i'm saying the toxic things that i was saying okay or something along those lines all right they had to really sit back and think about this like well maybe because i treated feminine in a way where i would have treated any other female and it's she's not you get what i'm saying like i think that's kind of yeah so this person is like i said yearning for you okay that's just what it boils down to yes that card said desire sexual chemistry and lust and you guys probably do have buku chemistry okay as to where even if you've never had sex before in the physical like i said in the fifth dimension oh you guys have had some sex okay there's a lot of crystal babies i'm hearing a lot of children's laughter okay so you guys have children already in that form so that tells me that in the event you and this person were to be sexually active with each other or be sexually active again with one another that's what's going to happen you're going to have some kids okay that's what's going to happen here all right so be mindful of this let's see all right we have tragedy forbidden love so this is maybe why some of you are like er you get what i'm saying i'm i'm good i'm good on that this person definitely has access to you okay so whether that be via fake profile okay or their actual social media accounts you get what i'm saying whichever way it goes but they have access to you you might not realize that but they do so if you have a public profile oh they're seeing everything you get what i'm saying they've done their research they probably looked at and cross-referenced all of your social media accounts to see if you act the same way on all of them are you different are you real you know because a lot of them feel like divine feminines are not real they feel like you know like like a um, dream girl you get what i'm saying it's like a dream girl type of energy so when they come across that it's like okay yeah no mm -mm, this this can't be real you get what i'm saying or they feel like it's no way that this is exclusive for me you got to be like this with everybody you get what i'm saying it's either one or the two you get what i'm saying so they can either run away from you because of the first option like i said or with number two they treat you like you're just regular they deny their feelings you get what i'm saying and then they over time get stronger and stronger because they keep trying to deny it right so that's the energy that i'm seeing here in this reading all right let us see what else here for the twins thank you spirit what are the messages for the twins interview all right so talk conversation get on the same page all right that's what an interview is right so when we think about an interview okay someone sitting down with someone else or other people however many and you're asking them questions asking them questions to get a better understanding of how they feel think you know what i mean what their position is on something right so this is to get a better understanding okay they want a better understanding okay um of how you feel why you feel the way you do they also want to give you clarity on some things so that you have understanding because like i said we have again legal court paperwork files so i don't know what happened you get what i'm saying but this energy keeps coming up so maybe this is something they want to discuss with you all right um a lot of them too hold back their feelings because they're afraid of what you might say or how you might handle it right a lot of them just don't want to deal with the petty energy that i told you souls and this and that that keeps coming up too all right so 
Let us see. What are the messages for the twins? All right, we have Divine Feminine. All right, so what about it? What about their Divine Feminine? We have Commitment. All right, so they want to commit to or offer this long-term relationship to their Divine Feminine. Okay, that's what we're seeing. This person wants to offer this long-term commitment to you, but really wondering how it is that you feel about it at this point. Okay, are you open to it anymore? Do you guys remember being children and really wanting something? Like maybe you've seen it in the, the big uh, Toys R Us book or you get what I'm saying? You saw a commercial or something and you know what I mean? You're like, oh my God, like I really want this toy or I really want this whatever it is, this bike or I really want these skates. So I really want like, and you just, you were like praying for it and you just talk to your parents about it so much every day or you mention it all the time so that you know, the more you mention it, the more you brought it up, you know, it'll be on their minds or something. You get what I'm saying? With this wish card, hoping, praying, yearning, I feel like this person thinks about you a lot. They talk about you a lot. Um, they might, you know, literally pray, okay? Literally pray to God, to spirit, to whomever they believe in, you know, asking for you to return, okay, into their lives. So... This is really, really deep, really, really spiritual. All right, like I said, you guys are already together in the 5D, so I feel like you're going to be together in this dimension in no time. Like, there's children up there laughing. You know, y'all already making babies in the fifth dimension. So, you, you, uh, anyway, you guys know, right, that things happen in the spiritual before they happen in the physical. So, if that's already the case, you know it's only a matter of time, right? So if you know that you're someone who doesn't want kids or whatever the case may be, or you don't want any more kids or anything like that, then this is probably not your reading, but that's the way that it's coming through. Okay. So let us see here. Also too, just take what things are for you and leave what things are not. Okay. We got pay attention to the red flags. Okay. The signs are cautioning you. Remember I told you. I said, in the event that you guys have sex with this person, we have retreat. See what I'm saying? They want to spend time with you. In the event that you guys spend time with this person on some one-on-one -on -one type stuff right now. All right. It says getting to know each other. Right? What's going to end up happening is that. <laughs> All right. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. They want to spend time with you with no phones, no outside distractions, nobody else. Do you understand the things that can happen? <laughs> right? The things that can happen. So, okay. Some of you are possibly going to be um, having some surprise, like, shotgun weddings. Like, y'all meet up and then y'all just like, all right, let's get married. And that's what y'all going to end up doing. Because these two people have on wedding attire here. She sure does have on a wedding dress. And he has on a little suit, a little tux. So, I'm just saying. All right. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right, so the closer you get, the more familiar you get with each other, the more, you know, these feelings grow, the more this person can't deny how they feel for you. So that's what I'm seeing. All right, let us pull some uh, a more here. We have transformation. So this relationship is going through a deep transformation right now. All right, a rebirth. Let us see. Thank you, Spirit. What are the messages? All right. We have fresh start. What did I say? New opportunity. Release the past. This is your second chance. Okay. Self-worth. All right. Value. Self-esteem. Confidence. Be empowered by valuing yourself. Okay. We have control. Stagnation. Delusion. Release the need to control the situation. And release. Loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt. Definitely go check out that last reading, the underlying energy of travel. Once again, I don't know if this person is coming towards you. You're going to them. You're meeting in the middle. You're traveling together. Something along those lines, all right? But it's probably all of that, to be honest with you, all right? Because long-term relationship is here. So they want it all. <laughs> all 
Alright, let us see. Messages for these twins here. Alright, we got this soulmate card. Soulmates, okay? Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Alright, so this is your twin flame soulmate. It keeps coming out like that. So this is the one that you're going to be with. Like I said, you already have children in the family running around in the fifth dimension. It's only a matter of time before it happens down here. Coffee cup, same energy came out yesterday. They want to talk. They want to meet up, converse, have a conversation. You get what I'm saying? With their friend. With This is the thing too, with getting to know each other, right? It's like over time, you guys have really truly become friends. Okay, and that is a very, very important foundation for any relationship. So I feel like that's what's going on here. Okay, you guys are becoming closer. They want to get closer to you. Okay. Let us see. We have heart with the key. All right. So you're the one who has the key to their heart because of your truth, because of your honesty. It's something also about you standing in your truth and not being afraid to like challenge society's ways of going about things, doing things, existing or whatever. You get what I'm saying? They really, really like that. It turns them on. I just heard <laughs> it says welcoming love, meeting the one. All right. So with you, they feel like they met the one. Um, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. They feel like you're perfect. Perfect is not something that exists, y'all. But for somebody to feel like you are perfect, do you understand what that means? Like, this person thinks so highly of you. They feel like you're perfect for them. You get what I'm saying? So, the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation. All right? Solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. That keeps coming out. They can tell how protected you are. You get what I'm saying? Then we have these sunglasses. They're definitely... <laughs> watching you and doing everything in their power praying that your heart heals from whatever pain they have caused you praying that they can heal you get what i'm saying um this person realizes that they have done a lot of gaslighting okay by this denying their feelings and emotions and this and that and you know that's why they really want to free themselves from the toxic ways of existing the toxic patterns and you know they're like damn yo a lot of the stuff that i did was mad toxic to to this feminine you know so i understand why they don't want to deal with me in certain types of ways but now it's like i realize this person is my one that's that's my person you get what i'm saying and sometimes it takes for you letting something go with this release you get what i'm saying you let it go and they came back. What Marcus Houston said? <laughs> Did Marcus Houston say that when you love something, let it go? And if it comes back, then that's how you know. Okay? Shit. So the soul card here, okay? It said your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust in the process. Now, y'all know Marcus Houston got all that other shit going on. But, hey, I'm talking about the song, all right? I don't know what my man's got going on and all that. But we have Bond, all right? I did see something about it, though. I did see something. I don't know my man's. But we just talking about the song right now, okay? But they feel like, yeah, you let it go. And they was like, them. You know, Zam, I do love them deeply at that. Okay, so let us see here. What are the messages? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you guys so much for all of your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. I really do appreciate that. All of you who have been joining the membership, okay, which if you're interested in that, you can click the membership tab to give you a little more information. I really have to post a new video to describe what that's about because that, that video I posted was like three years ago, all right? And also, I think I'm going to change the tiers around and bring some new stuff to the Patreon. Just thank you guys so much for all your support, period. Anybody who books personals, you purchase just any merchandise you view this video you know even if you forget to like but you viewed i appreciate it i appreciate everything all right so let us see let's close this reading out we have temptation all right think carefully about the situation like i told you guys y'all think i'm playing the power of y'all's love okay you understand me the power of the way that y'all feel for each other y'all come together there's gonna be a baby all right period so if that's not what you want right now, then it's best to have that self-control, 
to wait it out until, like I said, some of y'all might have a shotgun wedding because of that. You get what I'm saying? Because of the temptation, you just could not fight it. It was too, too strong and you just couldn't fight it. You get what I'm saying? Something might happen like that. So we have the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. Okay. You can't help it when you love somebody that much. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm just saying when you love somebody that much, it's only a matter of time before you just want to express it you know in that way all right so let's see honor okay it says honor your loved one and you will notice their relationship becoming stronger all right let us see what we have here Oop. all right intense the intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows. See what I'm saying? Feminine, you were like, I'm tired of the roller coaster, but spirit is telling you this is an intense, true soul connection, though it includes great highs and lows, okay? And then we have let go. What did I tell you? Sometimes you let go, the universe provides the answers in divine timing. It says sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing with the underlying energy of confusion. All secrets of truth experience confusion. Ask the divine to provide you the answers you need. Now do me a favor and watch that last Twin Flame video that I put up because you're going to see why I say these things when you do. All right. It makes sense. It goes hand in hand. It's a storyline. You have to follow through with it. But this is what I'm getting here. Right. Also, this person is having dreams about you. I feel like you dream about them. OK, but spirit is encouraging you guys to share your dreams with one another. OK, because the twins usually encourage each other to make those dreams a reality all right not just something that oh yeah this is what i want to do one day maybe possibly you know i've always wanted to do this when i was a kid but you know whatever that's that's you know that's that's kitty things you know no all right it says share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality meaning very much so possible all right but if this was your reading or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up okay oh told me to pull one of these so i am okay if you have not already make sure you subscribe i'm gonna pull one of these actually i'm gonna pull a few more all right take it one day at a time you understand me it was just 2220 on the timestamp, so 2220 all right so that's about balance and brand new beginnings you understand me all right then we have here taking time to self all right so make sure like i said that self-worth was there okay and it was talking about love yourself first it makes you more romantically attractive under that it says make the effort you see what i'm saying this person does not want to be separated they really want to come together with their twin all right you loving on yourself the way that you have been is making that happen all right and then we have your loyalty means everything so this person definitely notices that although you get what i'm saying like right here it says apologies grew stale so this person maybe they've done one thing after another thing after another thing after another thing and eventually you just got tired of them apologizing you get what i'm saying you got part tired <laughs> you got tired of them apologizing it got old you get what i'm saying it says yawn you know that shit got real old after a while but they also notice like damn you're still here though you get what i'm saying that loyalty stands out it definitely does okay so let us see here look here i'm starting to understand our connection so many things remind me of you all right this person y'all all right you came closer than anyone yeah they might have been in their ways at the time but listen i am becoming a better person you understand me all right because they understand you're blunt with them and you showed them what it was it's time for me to heal now yes because those toxic ways of existing are not going to work and divine connection and they're realizing how truly divine they are and boy are they feeling themselves <laughs> They are feeling themselves as they should be, though. Should. So I will wait for a sign from you. I wish things could be different. They will be different in 2.5 seconds, baby boy. In 2.5 <laughs> 2 seconds. That's what we see right here. All right. Beautiful reading, beautiful energies. If this was your reading, once again, or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.